Hi everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Emily. Welcome if you are new and subscribe obviously if you like this video. Um, in today's video I have a big Pretty Little Thing haul. Um, I don't know how much the items were just to let you know because all of the items I do have I've got five and they were gifted by Pretty Little Thing for another Instagram collab. I've worked with them quite often and get gifted items to obviously post on my Instagram and um, I just thought I'd make a video out of it because I know that when I got my last pics I don't think I showed what I picked. I was many but then I just ended up forgetting because I'd already taken the pictures. I'll go through everything that I've picked and um, I'll tell you the sizes, if I like it, if I don't like it. The majority of the things I do like but I've picked up a jacket right and I think it's because it's um, fake leather. It just stinks of fish. Um, so I have opened some of the things already to try them on. This is the bag that I have. So I've got some quite bulky items to be fair. Um, but as I'm going through them, I'll pop the price on screen and I'll obviously try them on and um, show you what they look like. Right, so the first item is this big coat. What have I just done with the belt? The belt. Let me put the belt on. I did open this package the other day and I probably should have just left the jacket out but I wanted to leave it in the packet just for the purpose of the video because <laughs> um, when did it arrive? It arrived Tuesday I think um, No I think it arrived Wednesday Yeah I think it was Wednesday um, but I did take some things out to try them on Can I just say the jeans from Pretty Little Thing guys they actually fit really well Is this belt even going to be long enough? Only just. So it is just. As you would, if you watched my last video, you would have seen me mention this. Um, but it's just this big oversized aviator jacket. And I did pick it up in a 12, and I definitely should have gone for a 10. Even though it said oversized, I just think Pretty Little Thing are hit and miss with the sizing. So I thought, oh, I'll size up. But it, guys, it is actually massive. Um, as you can see, it is huge. You'll probably see it better in the try-on portion where it's got pockets, reusable pockets, and then I don't know if the zip one is. Should we check? Yeah, it is, so you can put like coins in there or something. And obviously it's got the teddy, teddy look inside, so it'll keep you warm. It is, it isn't a heavy jacket and it isn't thick, so it's all right for layering, you know, with like jumpers and stuff underneath. And it is, like, obviously you can see it's got quite, it's a bit flimsy, but it, sometimes it's better when it's a bit of a, nicer day if you know what I mean but you still want to wear a jacket so yeah and then that's just the back but yeah I will obviously try everything on I'm not too sure I think that was £60 um, if I remember correctly I'll insert it on the screen like the pictures and whatever and then I'll show what me trying it on and whatnot um, but I think I'll pair that with like black jeans so I did pick up some like what colour were they? They weren't acid wash, I don't think. They could be. I don't know, I'll check. But the coat is Black PU Oversized Drop Arm Aviator. And it's a size 12. Yeah, I was thinking of pairing that with like black jeans and boots or something. Or trainers. With like a cream jumper under or something like that, you know? It's just the aviator jacket. Um, I actually quite like it now that it's on and I've got makeup on and whatever. The sleeves are quite long. Um, so I don't know, I might actually like roll one up. How would that look? It does stink a fish though because it's full of it. So yeah, that's one up, that's one down. Yeah, I think I prefer it with a sleeve up. I just do this one. Just because my arms for one aren't that long. Two, it just makes the jacket look a bit better and not. Yeah, I'll prefer it like that. So yeah, you can wear it with this outfit, it looks quite nice. That's how long it is at the back. Obviously the belt is making the noise because it's got that buckle on it. That's the back. It is quite a crease though as well, I've noticed. Um, I'm presuming they probably won't come out but yeah this is a 12 and I probably could have done with like a 10 just for it to be a bit smaller but I'll zip it up anyway and we'll see what it's like it up if I can even bloody see what I'm doing <laughs> I literally cannot see what I'm doing for the life of me just because the massive flap right, there we go like, the zip isn't that good quality I must admit but Yeah, so I'd say if I was to fasten it, it'd be like this. 
obviously I wouldn't wear it like that, but you know, I'd wear it open. Yeah, and I probably wouldn't have like jumpers under, black pants or anything like that. Any pants really go, because I don't think these would, but they look alright. Um, I'm not really one for dark with lights, but hey ho, we move. But yeah, actually, you could like pull this a bit tighter on here. Then there's a little button to clip that to if you wanted to just leave it like that, but if you wanted it to stay shut, you didn't want to zip it up, you can just fasten the button like that. So, yeah, that is just the jacket. Next, I've been after a bomber jacket for quite a while, and me and my friend Jess have been literally on Pretty Little Thing looking at these jackets, saying that we both like them, but they've never been in stock. They're always sold out, so I don't know how people are getting there. Um, so, I did managed to get this black black one i did pick it up in a size 14 but i wish i got it a bit bigger because it is cropped but like i was thinking if i get it in like a bit of a bigger size because i would go for a 10 usually so yeah if i did get it in a bit of a bigger size and i thought oh, it might be a bit bigger but it is definitely cropped this does not run oversized at all by any means um, and it's got pockets on it's got the orange lining inside it's got a bit of a ruched detail on the sleeves. It is a really nice jacket and then it's got this little pocket up here. Yeah, it is a really nice jacket and I was thinking you just put that on with jeans, trackies, leggings, jumpers underneath it, anything. And it is like quite thick as well because it's a bit of a puffer, a bit of a puffer style bomber jacket. Yeah, they do have a khaki green one in that bomber jacket which I might get. <laughs> Depends how often I wear that one to be fair. Next is just a bomber jacket. Yeah, this is a 14, so it's actually not that, it's not that big really. Um, that's just how it looks. The arms, the sleeves. I could wear this with literally this outfit as well. Just leave it on, that's how cropped it is. Just for reference. So yeah, that's just the cropped bomber jacket. It's just got an orange lining, so very fitted for Halloween, you know. Yeah. And that, like I said, it is in a 14. It's not that oversized. I thought it'd be a bit bigger than what than what it is, but it is what it is. We'll live. And I'll probably end up wearing it anyway because I do really like it and I've probably gone for a while. So yeah. That means I now have another eight jackets. Another eight jackets, another two jackets. So that means I've got eight. And in fact, there's two other, two other items that I've picked up that I want to show you in this video as well, so I'll show them at the end. Right, so the next thing that I want to show you all, I might have to unbutton it if I tell you the button for now, it is the brown checkered oversized shirt and it just comes in one size. I mean, I'm not going to lie, one size does not fit all, but you know, so it doesn't actually look that big to me, whether or not it's because I'm a bit chunkier, I don't know, but we'll see when we try it on, it's quite a nice colour for like autumn. Um, so I'll probably just like pair it under like a bodysuit or something with jeans or leather pants. It's quite nice actually. It's really nice quality. Um, so yeah, I'll probably pair it with like a leather pants, trainers, bodysuit or even jeans, blue jeans, black jeans, mum jeans, <laughs> skinny jeans, ripped jeans. Oh my god, I can't do the buns. I hate buns. Just because I'm an idiot and I can't do them. I saw this style type of shirt on Alicia LeMay, is that her name on Instagram? Oh, and she looked really good in it. Um, but it does obviously have a pretty little thing on. In case you want to take it back. Yeah, it is a really nice shirt. And even like under that bomber jacket or something, or you know, or like one of my, like a longish one, you know. Oh my god, it would look really nice with cream leather pants as well, actually. What an outfit with a white bodysuit on. Yeah, I might have to do that. And with, what's it called? Oh, trench coat. Trench coat. Did I say that right then? <laughs> right, so this is the oversized shirt. You can obviously roll the sleeves up or keep them down and then or fasten them. It is quite oversized. That bloody pretty little thing just winding me up. That's how long it is at the back. So it just come like, covers your bum just about. But yeah, that's just the oversized top. You can button it up if you want to. It's quite long, or you can just leave it open. Compare it with a brown bodysuit, white one, black one, pink one, any colour you want, or even a blue one from that blue one from Zara because it's got bits of blue in this. Um, as you can see, 
it's got bits of blue so you can just put it with a blue one and obviously it goes with the jeans as well because it's got that bit of blue in but yeah right and then the last two items are just jeans so i picked four these really nice light coloured jeans and oh my god they're size 10 which at first I was thinking oh my god they're literally they're gonna be so small why am I going for a 10 but it's a good job I did because the waist is still massive on these for me the legs I want to go away with an 8 for the legs but you know they are quite stretchy but they're still like skinny so they don't stretch a massive lot massive deal you know what I mean this looks really cute I've got quite a few things that I can wear these with and I'm quite excited about these. I really want to see if you've got any ripped ones on the website because I might have to get some. So yeah, it's just these and they're a size 10. I think they were 20 quid. I think. I could be wrong. Right, and then last but not least is, oh wait, it says here, pretty little thing, five pocket skinny denim. These are a size 10 as well. And what colour are they? Black acid. Um, so yeah, I'm not too sure if I like these in person now that I've opened them. I think they'll be fine once they're on. Yeah, they'll be fine once they're on. Um, so I didn't want to go like full black just yet because it's obviously not winter winter but these will look nice. Got a like bodysuit again, you know, just anything really. A blazer. I've just got a leather blazer from Zara. I'm currently waiting for it to come, I'm just waiting for my yodel parcel. I can't say them words together. I'm currently waiting for my yodel parcel to arrive. <laughs> there we go. Um, but yeah, that black leather blazer with this and like a black bodysuit or a white bodysuit, whatever. Tickles your fancy. And black trainers or cream trainers. That is probably going to be a look, I must admit. But yeah, I imagine these are going to fit the same as the white denim wash ones. So I will go ahead and try them all on for you and insert the clips. Lastly, it's just the um, acid jeans in black. That's just what they look like. They do come like really high waisted, like my boobs are here. Do you know what I mean? Like my belly button's here. Um, the only thing is, I think that these are giving me a really flat bum. Um, maybe I've just got a really flat bum these days. Um, but yeah. And these are as well in a 10. There's quite a lot of stretch in these ones compared to the blue but on the legs. There's a bit more stretch in them. Um, why? I don't know, but you know, it's fine. Right, okay, so this isn't from Pretty Little Thing. It is from Because of Alice, who is, I think her name on Instagram is Alice Olivia Cross. Um, she came out with her own clothing brand and this is just a blazer dress, but I was thinking I can wear it with the blue jeans that I showed in this haul. Um, with like trainers or something just for like casual um, and it's got a massive belt like it is incredibly long that I just folded over um, and it's got the buttons and it is obviously like a proper blazer dress the only thing at the back because it is a blazer dress it doesn't have a slit at the back like some blazers do it's got pockets as well but I think I'll have to cut them myself I don't know why why do they do that with like coats and blazers and stuff why do they never have the pockets open already never known that but yeah it's just really cream is really nice um, I wasn't just sure when I first got it and put it on but the more I try it on the more I like it um, so I will obviously try it on for this video for you all to see um, it was £85 I believe and I paid £5 shipping so it was £90 it's really expensive um, but I have quite a lot of ideas coming up for this um, blazer and it will probably last me for a while and I'll wear it several times and I'll probably end up taking it away with me as well um, yeah it's just a really nice casual piece and dressing up piece you can wear it with like, heels and stuff which is what I want to do with me and Lucy out for a meal you get two spare buttons and um, one for the cuff and the sleeve and one for the actual jacket um, but yeah I will go and try it on I do have I'm still waiting on another blazer to arrive from Zara at the minute um, but I will show that as soon as it arrives right so yeah this is just the blazer dress from because of Alice I do have a bodysuit on so I could bother taking it off but I think I would have it open and probably just have a bra on and I'd probably maybe pin it just here underneath just to make sure that it stayed because otherwise it's gonna you know but I was thinking this would be cute like this with the blue jeans on and um, I'll probably try the blue jeans on whilst I look at this on just to see and then I'll take it off but you can also wear it undone but I'll show you that when I put the jeans on and um, obviously this is 
how short it is at the back. I just do still have my shorts on underneath, but how I'll be having them on. In fact, I probably need some shorts on underneath just to make sure. Um, yeah, and you can like pull the sleeves up. Um, and that's the belt, I've wrapped it around twice. Yeah. These are just the jeans with the blazer. Just the grey little thing jeans. This is how I'd wear it. I'd probably keep the bodysuit on with it actually because it looks quite nice. I really like this look. And then with some like black trainers or um, cream trainers and just a bag. Maybe even a trench coat or something, you know. Yeah. And then I'll undo, I'll undo the belt. So it is like a very long belt. Like extremely long. <laughs> And then that's just what it looks like without the belt on. So it is like quite boxy and oversized. Um, I'm going to do the buttons. And then obviously I've knocked on my pockets and just ignore that. Obviously this is what it looks like when I'm done. Just with some jeans. So yeah, it is a really cute blazer and these jeans are really nice too. As you can see they are a bit big. But Oh well, nothing a belt can't fix really. Right, so this just came in the mail and it is just the blazer from Zara. It's just the leather one. I got it in a size medium. Ignore the mess in the back of my room. I haven't tidied it because I've been taking pictures instead. But yeah, and it's just oversized, quite boxy. It's got shoulder pads in it, I'm sure. But yeah. Yeah, that is everything that I did pick up from Pretty Little Thing. If you do like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what your favourite item was. Or if you want to see how I've styled the items, then go over to my Instagram and all my pictures will be on there. Um, I also tag everything on my 21 buttons or reward style, um, so I'll leave them links below as well. And if I don't want any of my clothing anymore, I will link them all on Depop as well, so you can go and follow me on Depop as well, so I'll leave that all in the description. But yeah, like I said, all these items were kindly gifted by Pretty Little Things, thank you very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all again in another video. Bye!